say. What happens when you combine the voice talents of Timmy Turner, Vicky, that chick from Garfuckle and Oates, Chris Redfield from Resident Evil, the villain of the Dick Figures movie, and Michael Croner? Who is that? You get Unikitty! Based on the Lego movie, but then again, you might as well throw everything you know about that movie into the trash, since this show isn't canon at all to it, and who the hell are these guys? Like, what happened to Emmett? And also, they already have plans to release merchandise later this month. Well, have you ever wanted to see a news program where everybody dies at the end? No? You don't want that? Oh, well, too bad! You're gonna be watching it. So let's take a gander at Unikitty News, which aired March 18th of 2018, a.k.a. three months ago. You're watching Unitv, Unikingdom's favorite and only television network. Because we are too cheap to afford any other network. Uh, Unikitty, you're on air. You guys are live! Oh, <laughs> oh hi! Good morning, Unikingdom! Oh, wait a minute. The, that voice, wait, they... Play it side by side comparison. I don't think that sounds like. Hi! I am Princess Unikitty, and I welcome you all to Cloud Cuckoo Land! The overexcited chili lover reportedly ate 10 whole buckets of it, then ran away into the bushes. Oh my god! They do not sound alike! That's an imposter! Call the authorities! I mean, wow. You honestly couldn't get Allison Bree to play Unikitty? You had to get Tara Strong. Tara's voice is just way too high for this part. Anyways, Imposter Una Kitty, what's your news program like? We've put together the best news to help you start your day. And girl, do we have a bunch of great stories just for you. Plus weather, sports, science stuff, and a story so nuts, it will change your life forever. <gasps> She's never going to reveal the news story, is she? Nope. Nope, I might as well just stay. Oh, wait, I'm trapped here. <laughs> Let's introduce the other guys while we're at it. Hawkadile with the weather. Yeah, sports. Wait, what? I thought I was doing sports. Oh, no. Well, you should have called Shotgun, Macho Macho Man. Cooking and chemistry expert, Dr. Fox. So, in other words, that's basically Jimmy Neutron's with tits, a vagina, and is a fox. That's essentially your character. But never mind that. We've got a news story to cover. Welcome, viewers. Let's get to today's stories. There was a chili thief at yesterday's Big Chili Festival. Authorities provided this composite sketch based on a witness's account of the scene. Gee, I wonder who the culprit is. And maybe the culprit is sitting right next to you, you dumbass. In fact, he later admits it in the same scene. Mm, that's impressive. Uh, I mean, is that all you can eat? Princess, you said you just wanted to do some morning announcements. When did you even build this set? I had an illegal team come in here and uh, build the set for me. Wait, what? Never mind that! News story time! And we're gonna tell you all about it. But first, this next segment. News on the street scene! Oh god damn it! Tell the story! I doubt anybody has anything to say. Everything's okay, I guess. I was thinking of buying a new couch. Ah, no! We need a juicy story! Uh, well, I haven't seen my twin brother in 20 years. No, I said juicy! But good luck! Well, actually, that could have been a juicy story. Those burgers were poison! <laughs> what? They are? No! What the hell does the blockhead voiced by Grey Delise have to say in sports? Last night, the Unikingdom Flame Foxes beat the Brown Town Mudbuds 72 to 0. Uh, it's in the middle of the day. There is no night sky. Also, I don't think this is the professional basketball game we're talking about here. Whoa, that guy's running really fast. He's got feet like rockets. Whoosh. Can you imagine if he had like a cool sword too? Shing. And then a dragon attack. Rawr! Yeah, he's moving so fast that he really does have rocket feet, even though I think he's just doing a light jog. Also, everybody died from the drawing that this blockhead made when he devoured their guts. Commercials? Get the f away! I love these flowers so much. I can't live without them. On second thought, no! These flowers are mine! You can't have them! They're not for sale! Everyone stay out of my sweet flower shop! I say and stay away! BB's flower shop is right off the 134. I think I just pissed my pants. I need a change of pants. On a new episode of Third Degree Love Burns. 
Which of our charming lady suitors will Theodore choose to join him for a romantic three-day weekend of dancing and merriment? I can't fight my feelings anymore. I choose you, Bim Bom. Ah! <laughs> Spoilers much? Seriously? What's it like outside? I don't know, but I know who does. Up next to talk about what's the weather! Ugh, is this buffering gonna end anytime soon? I have been standing here for seven minutes. Oh, shit! Oh, kitty, I'm not ready! So we cut to a cooking segment starring Jimmy Neutron, voiced by Oats of Garfuckle and Oats, where everything goes to shit. A cooking segment starring Jimmy Neutron, voiced by Oats of Garfuckle and Oats, where everything goes to shit. Uh, oh, particles! A black donut hole! <laughs> That's all the time we have! Remember, nothing says breakfast like- Princess, I think it's time to wrap this up. Wait, where did you throw me? I'm just gonna come back. No. Yeah, yeah, you won't go down without a fight. Where's the damn weather? Um, yes, I am Cockadile, your man weather. I'm in Weatherman! Oh, here, it's sun, sunny times. Here's the castle. It'll, it'll remain here throughout the day. Ah, numbers! You were scared by numbers. Hey, hey, temperatures in the upper 60s and 70s. That's actually kind of impressive. Whoa, weather is intense. Maybe I am cut out for this. All right, weather. Tango, Unikingdom, burning hot! Brown Town, getting pummeled with rain! Hawkadile, you're destroying the set! Fuck this weather! Rah! Well, there goes $70. Now where were we? Gather your family, your friends, and random strangers off the street! Also, be sure to ride in your conveyor belt because you're going to need a conveyor belt. Can you get to the damn story?! Or stall for time, that works too. We cut to Brock, voiced by whoever Michael Croner is, as he's not even safe from shit going wrong. I'm excited to share my report uh, on- Hey, Unikingdom! <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> yep, there is one issue with this series, and then there's a lot of it. Popping. It can be borderline scary at times. I mean, take another episode, for example. I promise we ah, we'll take demon! You. God damn it! Anyway, back to the episode. Locals have reported that, uh, um, the- Dude, stop! You're ruining my segment, man! The news is late! You're late! Come on, man! This is my big brain! No. Oh, man, I just bought that! It costed me my life savings! Uh, we're just gonna continue. Unikitty News has uncovered the truth! We're gonna tell it to you right now! It's really big deal! It's big deal! Oh, god damn it, Unikitty! You should have started talking instead of stalling for time! A moment of silence for Unikitty and friends. With that being said, what the hell did I just watch? It's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be, with all right writing, decent voice acting even if the casting is questionable. The animation is decent for it being Flash, and they try to keep Unikitty the same from the movie. Emphasis on try. It's the only thing that is canon from the movie, and there's a few animation errors in this episode. If you're a fan of the Lego movie, you might want to steer away from this, but otherwise it's relatively harmless. Well, I mean, to be honest, it was average. I mean, I mean, what other insulting piece of garbage is there out there? Son of a bitch.